And I don't speak Arabic. Sadly, I don't speak any other languages. I know, you know, phrases and stuff in other people's languages, but I have a theory. If you don't speak another language, you can fake it. The trick is to know what another language sounds like, and then when you do your impression of it, sound angry when you do it. Because when you're angry, you'll screw up whatever you're trying to say anyway. It doesn't matter what language, even if you speak the language. You know, just, you'll get angry and you'll screw it up. So if you know what it sounds like, you can fake it by just sounding angry. Like, I'll give an example. If I went to India, there's over 200 languages in India. I don't know any of them at all. I know, like, a couple of greetings, but I don't know enough to get me in or out of trouble. But I know what they all sound like. And if I was stuck in India and I needed some help, I would just fake it. They would never know. I could be stuck in India in a market, I'd be like, Here come more cowboy, yeah! They won't know. They'll be like, oh my God, he's very angry. I don't know. I don't know what dialect that one is, but this man is very angry. He's most angry. He's very cross. So cross. That's what Indian people do. We don't want that bad energy in us. We take it and throw it out of our heads. We don't, we don't get out of my head and into my car. Same thing with any, any language, you can fake it. I'm going to Hong Kong in a couple of weeks. If I get stuck there, fuck it. I don't speak Cantonese, but I know what it sounds like. I'll just act angry. I don't know what language that man is speaking. But whatever the case, he's very mad. So mad. I've never seen somebody so mad in my life. <laughs> 